In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the new Outlook HD dash cam being offered by Harbor Freight. Now, the part number on this particular unit is number 56226. However, I'm going to put a link to it down below in the description for you so you can go and maybe do a little bit more research for yourself. Some of the key features with this particular dash cam are that it records in 1080p HD video so you can go back and replay your video and you're going to get clean, clean crisp video and you'll be able to pick up on some of the great details that you normally wouldn't be able to do. This also has a 155 degree wide angle camera lens so not only does it capture what goes on in front of your vehicle but it will also be able to capture what goes on to the sides of your vehicle as well. Now on the box here, it says it will record up to 9.6 hours of video with a 64 gig card. Now I did the math for you and that comes out to being about nine minutes per gigabyte. Now included with your cam is a 16 gig micro SD card. And with that, you should be able to record about 144 minutes or 2.4 hours of video. And how these record is it will record in small sections of time and it will loop those. And so as your card becomes full, as a new video is coming in, the old video is deleted and the new video replaces it and it loops those. So with that feature, the 16 gig card that's supplied with this unit should be more than sufficient for you to be able to do that and you won't need to buy a card to make it work. Now, one of the other things with it is it does have a built-in microphone, so it can capture audio for you as well. It does have a video output, so should you not want to necessarily use the 2.45 inch LCD screen that's included with this, and it's built into it, as you can see here, you can plug it into an external monitor, and that is an option for you with this. It does use a 5 volt DC 1.5 amp power supply and the power cord is included. It also comes with the mounting bracket so you can get it mounted up on your windshield as well. So we're going to go through this. We're going to unbox it, see what comes with it. We're going to test it out. We're going to install it. I'm going to show you some videos of it at nighttime, daytime, in the morning, at dusk. We're going to try it all under all sorts of different conditions. I'm going to post that video with you here as well and you can decide if this is something that's going to be good for you. So let's not waste any time let's dive into the unboxing so as we see here we just have the front of the box here and our wording there just going to give you a view of the box itself before we open it it's a real nice packaging by the way very heavy duty good sturdy box that it comes with and so now let's see what we can do to open it and oddly enough it looks like it opens from the bottom so we will try that and sure enough that is correct so now we just reach in here very nice packaging it's got a little foam cover here there's our new dash cam let's take that out so you can see it well maybe let's start over here since it's kind of stuck in there so inside of here we have our new power supply that we'll need to use with the system And this is a plug-in, so it will plug into your external auxiliary power supply in your vehicle. And we have our power supply located there. Set that off to the side. It has an adhesive back mounting strip that will mount up to your windshield. And then it has these two brackets here. I'm gonna... And here is our dash cam. Nice looking dash cam. We have our camera back here. You can adjust it a little bit there does have a little has one of those clear covers on it right there so don't forget to take that off or you're gonna get some real foggy video and you're not gonna like it over here we have our power supply and we have our micro SD card slot if we go over here to this side we have our power supply uh, we have let's take a look here and make sure that we're correct in what we're saying here we have our audio video output which will be on here and then we have a reset button down here we have our mode select we have our menu or lock button as well we have our up and our audio on and off button we have our down button and then we have our ok button which we can also use to record or pause video as we go and so this here is the overall unit it's pretty small as you can see if i set that in my hand it's going to be pretty compact in its size there 
as we also get down in here very nice packaging by the way that is included with this and down inside of here underneath our foam if i can manage to get it out it does have our owner's manual that is included with it as well so let's get it outside let's get it installed we'll get it turned on and let's try out this camera and let's see how well it works I now have my mounting bracket affixed to my front windshield here and I have my power supply that's run and it just comes out over here so I don't have any wires hanging down and I made a separate video for you as to how to do the installation and run that separate power supply and I'll put a link to that video up over here in the description for you so now that we have this part prepared all we're going to do is we just go ahead and we plug in our power supply and your dash cam is going to come on and then what we'll do is we're just going to go ahead and we just slide this up onto the bracket like so and now your dash cam is up and working now i did go ahead and adjust my camera and it does have some small adjustment in there but i adjusted my camera on mine so that my hood basically fills up just the very bottom part of the screen sometimes if they're not adjusted right your hood's about halfway up and i don't want that i want everything to encompass what's going on around me so we have that all set let's get this out on the road let's get some video and see how well it works I wanted to go through the menu options here with you just so you'd have a better understanding of what's going to be available to you with your dash cam here. Now this button here is our menu option so if we press this, this will take us into our menu and here you have options where you can choose your resolution. For example, you can be at 720p or 1080p. I have mine set at the highest. Uh, you can set it for loop recording. And basically in loop recording you have your time intervals that you can set it at I have mine set at the longest interval you can do your wide range dynamics in there you have your G sensor you can set your exposure you can have it set for motion detection you can turn your recording for audio on and off and you can do your date stamp then what you can do is once you press menu again and you get out press it twice again and now you'll get into more features. There you can set your date and time. You can have the system shut off automatically and auto power shut off. Uh, you can have the key tone on should you want. That's where you can set your park guard. You can set your language, your AV out, your screensaver, and the frequency. You can format an SD card should you want to. You can set everything back to your default settings and you can find out what version you're using. So these are the options that are available to you on it. I just thought I'd show you how that worked. So what's our conclusion when it comes to the Outlook dash cam? 
Well, I really like the quality of the video. It was crisp, it was clean, it was clear, it was easy to see. Uh, I also really like the idea that I could zoom in on things and it still maintain the quality of the picture for me when I downloaded it later onto my computer. It did well during daylight times, in the morning, in the evening, at night. Uh, actually did really well also with sun glare and I tried to drive it through different scenarios with shadows and sunlight and in all of those I got good clean clear video which was what I was looking for. I really like having the wide angle lens on it so it's able to pick up things that are happening on the side of the vehicle while I'm driving and that was a great benefit and something I was looking for. Being able to navigate through the menu was quick, it was easy to do, it's intuitive and you're able to get in there and adjust things that suit your needs and you're able to do it quickly. So ultimately, this is definitely a dash cam that I would recommend, especially at the price point that they offer it at. Now, the only thing I wish it did is I wish it came with an additional mounting bracket, a flat mounting bracket, so I was able to put one in another vehicle I have so I could move it back and forth. However, I will say this, we've been so impressed with it and so happy with how it's worked so far that we plan to just get another dash cam. We're just gonna mount it in the other vehicle and we're gonna use it for that. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please do me a favor and hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, why don't you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Thanks for watching.